Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. Today's video, we're going to talk about a concept that can drastically improve your quality of life. Let's dive in. Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. So glad you're here. And as mentioned in the introduction, as always today, we're gonna to talk a little bit about a concept that when understood, and I say when, cause not if, <clears throat> it's very simple anyways, you probably already understand it and know it, it can drastically improve your life. Now, what is this concept? Why is this coming up? Last night, my best friend who DJs got hired to do a birthday party gig. So I went out, had a good time, uh, you know, Dance, met a bunch of new people. Uh, he got hired for a birthday party through an acquaintance that we had through uh, another friend of ours. And anyways, that's the background of it. So whatever, typical night out, right? Friends DJing, you go to a house party, no big deal, and have fun. So for me, I've been in such a monk mode, like head down, just focus. I haven't been going out. I haven't been going out a lot of, on a lot of dates. I haven't been hanging out with a lot of friends. I haven't been doing a lot of like extracurricular fun stuff. You know, I haven't been going to shows, concerts, yada, yada. You get the drift. And I realized, and this is something turning the new year that I was starting to reflect on, that yes, whatever you're starting, especially a business, it requires a ton of dedication and focus and you really do need to get into a rhythm and break through all these personal barriers. And I mean, I'm in the midst of it right now. And you also, you really do need every once in a while just time away from whatever you're doing and grinding. There are many schools of thought about this. Some people say you do, some people say you do not. And in order to be successful, you should actually be incredibly imbalanced and you know never go out and never have fun, never do anything and just stay focused and grind. And those are the people that really separate themselves. The other, <clears throat> there's other people that say, no, you need to recharge your battery. So I think it just comes down to your own philosophy in school of thought when it comes to balance in your life and working hard. I feel like I'm like 90-10 as far as like focus, solitude, like working on my business and like 10%, like I said, barely going out. Um, so I bring that up because since I have not been going out, why it's a big deal is I realized that just my, I'm an outgoing, you know, friendly guy. I have an ability to connect and talk with people relatively easy, honestly, from any background, it doesn't matter if you're a man or a woman or you're old or you're super young child or like any religious background or like sexual orientation, whatever. I've just always since a, I was a little child been able to whatever, connect and talk with anyone and everyone that I want to and really open them up and engage with them and stuff. <clears throat> and I noticed last night, cause like I said, since I haven't been going out, it was weird. It was, you know, it's just hanging out and just doing me and having fun meeting people. And I realized that I'm like, damn, I'm kind of out of touch. I'm like, I'm kind of out of touch with like people I just haven't been going out, you know, talking to strangers, whatever. Like I'd still just go up and talk, you know, and just say, hey, what's going on? You know, blah, blah, how do you know so-and-so? Just make some small talk and then get to know the person, right? It's a natural flow conversation. But I bring that because there's a couple times in like a couple different conversations where I was talking and there was like that awkward moment of silence and I never really get that or have gotten that in the past, maybe every once in a while but like not really, and it wasn't even a big deal, you know, it was just, but I just, it was a moment for pause and I realized, damn man, your social skills have not been, you've not been practicing them, you've not been talking to enough people, right? I've been making all these um, videos and content, I'm like on the computer, sure, I'll talk with my clients and like a few friends and family members here and there, but it's just not the same, right? When you're out in a social setting and you're meeting all these different people. And so it made me think about this that, I know that I have this, you know, skill that uh, this, I have a very high level of social skills and I know that I do and I'm a, an emotionally intelligent, you know, in person, all this stuff, but it doesn't matter if you don't use the skill that you have, it goes away like everything else, right? Like how many people took Spanish? Think about this way. How many people took Spanish in high school or not even in high school actually like really learned the language and they're, you know, maybe it's not completely a second language or they're fluent in it but they're pretty well versed in it. Well, if they don't use that language or even if they are fluent, but they never speak it, what happens? You become unpracticed and it becomes rusty. It's the same thing lifting weights. 
you know, if you've been in great shape before, but you haven't lifted weights or ran or taken care of yourself, you get back in there. It takes a minute. You're rusty. So that's the genesis for this video. And it's a reminder to you that everything in your life is a skill. Everything in your life, everything. Money making is a skill. Um, communicating, articulating yourself, conversation, uh, emotional intelligence, networking. These are skills to be learned randomly you know you photography videography content creation those are skills speaking languages are skills picking up on girls is a skill learning to rollerblade is a skill uh learning to play darts is a skill shooting a free throw in a basketball is a skill and then shooting a three a three pointer um you know playing basketball is another skill right it's the same skill but just a different uh um way to use that skill but you understand what i'm saying so why is this valuable to you? Why, why should you continue to listen to this? Anything in your life you want to do, you can do because just like I gave the example of like social skills or whatever, it's just something that you need to learn and that you need to practice. So if there's something you want to do in your life, it's a skill. And don't think, you know, I think a lot of the times our thoughts get in our own ways. I know this for a fact and it becomes from, comes from our belief systems that come from childhood and all that and I won't get super deep into that right now but anyways we all have this thing or until you become conscious of it that you're doing that and you no longer do it that you tell yourself oh I can't do it right how many times have you or heard or someone you know said oh I'm just not a good artist you know I'm, I'm just not a good artist I'm, I'm terrible at drawing it's not that you're not a good artist and that you're not terrible at drawing it's that you've never spent the time to sit down and learn how to draw and practice and develop the skill developing um, skill on a paintbrush is definitely different than the skill of just drawing with pen and pencil and then drawing murals and these types of art. These are different skills. So everything you want to do is a skill. If you feel limited right now and you think, oh God, I can't you know, do this or whatever, whatever you're telling yourself as to why your life cannot improve from where you're at, it's bullshit. All you need to do is identify the skills, identify the skills and then learn and practice the skills. And there's a great saying by Dr. Joe Dispenza, and you know, we're in the age of Aquarius, right? Age of information. He says, in the age of information, ignorance is a choice. So, I mean, with Google, right, and our phones, like you just look up anything, you know, websites like Skillshare and Udemy, you can take courses, you can just go to YouTube and learn a bunch of stuff for free. Everything is so available for us to learn, to absorb, to practice, to master. Sales is the highest paying skill in the entire world. If you're struggling with money, and you need to, you know, you really want to leverage a high level skill, learn how to sell, learn how to close. And if you say, oh God, I'm, I'm too shy for that. Well, it's not that you're too shy for it. Again, it's because you haven't practiced your social skills. So you're not comfortable talking to people. And that means you might not be comfortable with aspects of yourself. So then, okay, personal development and self-reflection, that's a skill. Meditation, journaling, you know, um, changing behaviors. These are skills that you learn to do. Everything is a skill. So if you understand this concept, everything is yours and nothing is off limits. You can have whatever you want. The only thing it requires is the time, the effort, and the patience and the grit, the fortitude to persevere, to learn the skill to a level that you need to in order to achieve success. So whatever the thing is you want to do in your life, you can do it. You just have to put in the time, the effort, and again, remember that it's all skills. So you just got to learn the skill and then when you practice this, obviously you get better and better. And as you get better and better and continue to progress, you'll experience new problems as you solve those problems, trying to learn that skill. This is what's developing your, your level of mastery and skill. This is just how it works. So if it's money you're having problems with, it's not about your job. Okay, sure, if you wanna get a raise, well, whatever your specific job is, you've got to improve your level of skill. And if you're capped out at your level of skill and that's all you can get paid for your level of skill, well then you've got to figure out how you can teach people your skill, right? And get paid for teaching them your skill and it goes up. There's so many levels to this stuff. Uh, but money making itself is a skill. It has nothing to do with like, for instance, if you're a plumber and you're saying, well, my money making is tied to my plumbing ability, we'll be become a better plumber. You go, man, I'm already a, like the best plumber in the freaking world. Well, great. Well, it sounds like you need to start learning business. And business is a skill. And as you learn business and you own your own plumbing business and teach other plumbers to become just as good as you are, now you've got a plumbing business and now your money-making skill improves. And there's infinite ways to make money. 
Again, that's a separate skill because how do you save? Are you, you know, um, aware about how to invest and uh, have a system of, you know, investments and saving money every month? You know, are you good with your money? Your money management skills, your own personal finance are also skills. So you get the point. Everything is a skill. And in the age of information, ignorance is a choice. You can learn anything, you can do anything you want, you can be anyone you want to be. You just got to take the time to persevere and learn the lessons you need to learn in order to get to where you want to be. So I hope this was helpful and you have a wonderful rest of your day. Please feel free, feel free to like and subscribe and leave any comments if you have any questions. But love you, appreciate you. I'll see you on the next video and we'll talk then. Peace.